Hello everyone, today I have a haul from L3 to share with you. Um, this was from December 10th. It came yesterday, which was the 18th. So that's pretty on par with um, the time frame that I usually get my L3 orders. Um, I didn't order a whole lot, but they had a lot of good bunts listed and I love their bunts. That's my favorite way to get the wax bunts and scoopables pretty much. Um, but I think I did get a couple other things. So first of all, I have a sticker here. It says, I do have this light on behind me because it's super overcast today. We're supposed to get snow at some point. Hopefully we do. <laughs> just to make it feel a little bit more Christmassy. But anyway, um, I have this light on, so there might be a little bit of a glare. I'm gonna try to avoid it, but the sticker says, people don't notice whether it's winter or summer when they're happy. Um, Anton Chekhov. So that's nice. And I do have two little like scoops here. At first I was like, did I order scoopables and did they run out of the metal spoons but I remembered I got um, some body butter so I think that's what these spoons are for so I definitely didn't get scoopables okay tons of peanuts I'm just gonna reach in and grab um, the samples were right on top The first one is Peppermint Patty Cupcakes at Tiffany's. That's nice. I mostly get the Peppermint Patty. I don't know if I get too much cupcakes at Tiffany's. Mm, it's there. That's actually really nice. I'm a fan of peppermint and I'm realizing that I'm a fan of like peppermint and chocolate together so I look forward to melting that um, the next one is ghost of Christmas past mmm that's nice I think this might have been available when I ordered did I order this I don't think so I think it might have been available though I remember seeing this name that's really nice. It's like clove. I don't know. It's a very like traditional Christmas scent. So I could see why it's ghost of Christmas past. Like clove and probably an orange or something. Mm, that's really nice. It smells like Christmas. Man, if that was available, I should have grabbed some. Um, and then the last one is downy blue pink sugar and ozone that sounds really good i feel like i've been looking out with the samples lately and getting things that i like oh yeah i like that Ugh, that's good the first thing that hit my nose was the ozone and then surprisingly the pink sugar and then the downy blue but they're blending really nicely and this is a really cute candy cane shape how cute is that yeah i like that so yeah super happy with the samples i feel like the last few orders i've gotten really good samples um, for me anyway that one was a little crumbly okay so on to my order i guess i'll start with these um, body butters. This feels really light. I mean, they are whipped body butters. Um, the first one I got is Twisted Peppermint and Vanilla Bean Noel. I feel like I had a sample of their body butter a while ago, like last year maybe. Um, I am just going to open this because I'm going to start using it. <laughs> they are sealed, but I'm going to use it. So gonna open it so I can smell it with you 
that's nice. It's kind of light, um, but I feel like once you put it on your skin, it will get stronger. Like you'll definitely, definitely be able to smell it. It's just like lightly twisted peppermint and vanilla bean noel. But I don't know, I just love this like consistency. I had like a tiny sample of it and I don't know, I don't know why I didn't order any after that. I don't know if there just weren't any scents that I liked or what, but I don't know if you can like tell. It is very like light and airy. It's like, like it really almost feels like whipped cream. <laughs> Um, but you can see it's like you can see the oils in it but I feel like they soak in really quickly from what I remember um, yeah that smells good I'm excited about that I hope they soak in quickly because I just put it all over my hands anyway that smells good um, I just my skin gets so itchy in the winter and I needed something more than what I had um, there's another vendor that used to make body butters that I absolutely loved and I wish he would make them again, but it's fine. I can try other people's, um, I'm just trying to get this body butter to, to soak in. Yeah, it pretty much is now, um, but it feels so moisturizing, so I'm excited about that. Okay, and then I got one more in the Lumberjack scent. I'm not sure, but I feel like this is an oil I've had before from um, another vendor, and I've seen it offered from a couple vendors now. I think that's what it is, but I could be wrong. Not that you guys have any idea what I'm talking about. Um, I don't know. I can't really smell it, and I don't want to put another scent on my hands yeah I think I think that might be what it is um, I'm just gonna tell you the now I can't even remember what it's called oh my goodness there's a scent from destination wax what is it called oh, I can't remember and I think Kay has the oil too I think that's what this is though does it say the notes? It says this warm, smoky scent combines sandalwood, cinnamon, citrus, ginger with rum, birch, and tobacco. Oh, it smells really good. It's like warm and slightly masculine and like a little smoky. Um, I've talked about this oil before. If you know if that's what it is, let me know. But I can't even remember what it's called from Destination Wax or K, so that was a pointless um, monologue I just had. Anyway, that smells good. I, I'm i not sure if I'm going to use that or if maybe my husband will want to use it. He does not like any kind of like oils or lotions or anything on his skin, but his hands have been so dry and like sore from the weather and work so he might want to try that on his hands I don't know but if not I'm gonna use it um, okay I think everything is buns except for this one thing here so I'll start with this it's um, a bitty Betty loaf in fluffy towels vanilla balsam and spearmint I hope that I don't already have this it sounds familiar <laughs> um, I might just have something similar. Oh, that smells really good. Even if I do already have it, it smells so good. I'll use it anyway. Oh my goodness. And I really get each of those notes in here. Ugh, let me pop it out and just on the bottom yeah that's gonna be really nice um, definitely get like this fluffy laundry but you really get the tree 
and the spearmint, and that smells so good. Oh man, really like that. That's one I could use all winter. Honestly, that's one I could use all year because it's just a really nice scent. Okay, then the rest should be buns. The first one is the mist. This is ozone salt water. Oh my gosh. Ozone salt water mermaid and abalone. <laughs> I wish they would use commas. <laughs> I just start to run everything together. Oh, that's nice. I don't think I've had this before. Um, I couldn't remember. Oh goodness, I'm throwing the buns around. I probably shook you guys. I couldn't remember if I had this, but this is really good. It's really aquatic, but like salty also. Fresh, oh my goodness, this is nice. This right now would be like a bathroom scent for me. But after winter, this would be an everywhere scent for me. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. Definitely aquatic fresh. I don't know exactly what is in Saltwater Mermaid. I feel like that's in, that's been in a lot of blends. And abalone, I have no idea, but this is an aquatic fresh scent that smells like it's gonna be fairly strong. It's pretty strong on cold already. Okay. I feel like maybe I should have had you guys pull you back a little bit. Okay. Um the next one is Miracle on 34th Street. This is White Woods, Vanilla Lace, and Golden Amber. Guys, I really <laughs> buy based off, I mean, I buy scents that sound good to me, um, whether or not anyone else has talked about them or not. But I'm also very influenced by other waxy YouTubers. Like I saw Danny talk about The Mist, so I wanted to try that. I'm pretty sure now I'm second guessing myself. Who did I see talk about Miracle on 34th Street? Ugh. I don't know. I don't know if it was Angela or I don't know. Was it Nicole Perry? I don't know, guys. I saw someone talk about this and I was like, ooh, that sounds good and they love it, so I'm gonna pick it up. Um let's smell it. Oh, that's really pretty. I was a little worried about the amber. Some amber smells really good to me and some amber is just a little too much for me. This smells really good. I like vanilla lace. Um, the white woods, I don't get too much on cold, but that might come through more on warm. This is really good. Really pretty. This would be like a good bedroom scent for right now. Actually kind of reminds me of my mom. I don't know why. Hope you guys can't hear my stomach growling. I swear I wasn't hungry when I sat down to do this, but now I am. Okay, and the next one is Cranberry Marmalade Frosty Fizzy Bubbly. I thought this might be nice for like New Year's, um, I mean even Christmas, but oh my goodness, I can't get this one open. Oh man, that's good. Is Frosty Fizzy Bubbly ginger ale? That kind of smells like ginger ale to me. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be ginger ale or like a Sprite, like a lemon lime bubbly. I don't know, maybe it is. It kind of smells like ginger ale though. And that cranberry, cranberry marmalade, I don't know if that has like a little bit of a spice to it. I'm kind of getting a little bit of a spice. 
I really like this. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad I picked that up. Um, that is one I could melt this week or for New Year's. That's really nice. I mean, that could be a year round scent, but it does feel like the holidays to me. Um, back on my eggnog BS. <laughs> Toasted Mallow, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Eggnog. I'm just, I love L3's Eggnog. It smells the most like authentic, non-boozy eggnog to me. Like you just bought a half gallon of eggnog at the grocery store and it's cold and that's what it smells like. It smells like a non-alcoholic eggnog. And that's what I really want and I really want her eggnog by itself but I figured it would be good with these notes so let's see yeah okay yeah and this is good I do get a lot of the sugar cookie royale but like as I'm pulling my face away from it the eggnog hits oh, that's so yummy yeah, it's definitely, she definitely has like the most authentic non-alcoholic eggnog to me. It's like perfect. And I don't know, I kind of just want a whole loaf of just her eggnog. Well, actually, I would like bunts of it. If I could get like two or three packs of bunts in just her eggnog scent. I mean, at this point... I don't know how long I'm gonna melt eggnog after Christmas. Um, so maybe next year I'll request just like eggnog by itself, but that's really good. I do really like her sugar cookie royale. And it's really good with the eggnog. Um, okay, another one that I bought because of the hype around it. This is icy peppermint, herbal lavender, and chamomile. I mean, I love these notes anyway, especially that icy peppermint. Um, typically with L3, the herbal lavender smells not that herbal to me, and the sweet lavender smells more herbal. I like all the lavenders, so either way, I would like it. Um, but I'm really interested to see what this is about because everyone talks about it. Oh, yes. <laughs> That is so good. Oh my gosh, I just love that icy peppermint. I have a custom coming from another vendor with icy peppermint. Yeah, but I will say, I don't feel like I get herbal lavender in here. I feel like I get more of like a powdery lavender. This is really nice. It's like a little pretty, but that icy peppermint is definitely like clearing my sinuses right now. All right, so far, I think I only have one thing left, but love this order. I want to like cut into all this stuff and melt it today, but I should not do that, okay. The last thing, right? Yeah. The last thing I got is the Lorax Here's a Who in Whoville. The notes are pink sugar, marshmallow cookies, cotton candy craze, and tinsel trees. I'm not sure exactly what tinsel trees is. I think I looked it up before I ordered, but I forget what it was. Um, I don't know. I kind of bought this scent based on the name, but also the notes sounded good, so... Anyway, hmm, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I get any of these notes. Um, I mean, I guess I have to see what tinsel trees is. I feel like I'm getting grapefruit. 
does tinsel trees have grapefruit in it? I need to look quick. Um, let me see if I can find it. Where's all three? I know I have their website pulled up already. <laughs> it's always up. Um, all right, let me see. What is it? What am I looking for? Tinsel trees. I don't know because I'm not getting pink sugar. I'm not getting like any kind of cookie. I don't really get cotton candy either. I'm kind of wondering if this is a mispour, but let me see. It's taking longer than I expected. Tinsel trees. Okay, that's not it. Oh my goodness. Is it in here? I don't think it's like tinsel. Um, is it? I don't think so. If it is, I don't get that either. Okay, tinsel tree. Yeah, that I must be getting mostly that. The notes for tinsel tree are orange zest, grapefruit, cinnamon and clove, cedar leaf, sandalwood, and fir needles. So I must be getting mostly that. Like mostly grapefruit. <laughs> It smells good though. Okay, the more I smell it, the pink sugar is coming out. I'm still not really getting cookies or cotton candy though. We'll have to see how this warms. At first, when I first smelled it, I was like, this is not something I'm going to enjoy. The more I smell it, the more I like it. It kind of smells like a body care like a grapefruit and pink sugar body care. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this one warms. It does smell good. I just, maybe I thought the pink sugar and like the cookie note would be a little stronger. Hmm, we'll see. I did see, I'm pretty sure this one's sold out though. So people must like this. Um, so I'm gonna see how it warms up. Like I said, it smells good. It's just not, whoa, almost lost it. It's just not quite what I expected, um, but it does smell good. Okay, so yeah, super happy with this order. That's the only one that I'm iffy about, but I think I'm gonna like it on warm. Um, so I might actually try that today. We'll see. Everything smells pretty strong on cold and I mean, the restock was over a week ago and they were probably pouring. I mean, they were obviously pouring before that, so they might be good to go. Um, I don't like often worry about letting my L3 sit for super long. Um, and like I said, they all smell super strong. So I think I might try some of this today. I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys participated in this restock um and what you picked up what you're loving or if anything from my order sounds good to you or if you've tried any of these um i'm definitely excited to get into them i i'm pretty sure they're all brand new to me and like i said super excited about the samples also so that's everything that i picked up in this restock um i think i only have one order coming and then I have one pre-order with super tarts that might ship next week I don't know I don't know when it's supposed to ship but that's those are the only two orders I have out I'm pretty sure there might be one more I don't know but I should have one haul next week and then whenever my super tarts comes I'll do that but um that's it so I need to get to melting. <laughs> um, I hope you're all doing well. We're, you know, it's Sunday the 19th. So Christmas is 
this week. Um, definitely not ready. Definitely not even finished Christmas shopping. Um, so that should be fun. But I hope you guys are having a good holiday season. Um, I really, truly do. And Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Um, I hope this week is wonderful for you guys. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.